I was in the Army. I was a light infantryman. I deployed in 2007 to Baghdad. The tempo there was nonstop, and we would do anywhere from two to three missions a night. We came back home, deployed again 2009 to 2010. Uh, this was north of Baghdad. Between the two deployments, I had definitely changed. Um, there was a noticeable change in who I was. During my second deployment, things just got even worse. More aggression, more anger. I didn't want to be around other people. And when we came back home, that just mentality stayed with me. I didn't want to be around my family, didn't want to be around my kids. It just got to a point where uh, the only thing that I could do was to drink and to start taking painkillers because there was nothing inside of me. I was an empty shell. My drinking and painkillers got so bad that I actually got in an accident that put me out of commission. I spent two weeks at VCU in their ICU. My wife left at the time with both my kids. So I really was all by myself. It was dark days then. That was the fork you know, in the road. It was one direction or the other. And um, I seriously thought that it wasn't worth it. When you get to that point, you can't handle this by yourself. Fortunately, I had a, a first sergeant that was helping me in my process of retiring recognized that I had all these problems and they got me the help that I needed. After getting all the help, my life has changed completely. Now I've married to my beautiful wife, Dana, who's a nurse. I've got great relationship with both my kids and I'm just overall, I'm, I'm happy and satisfied. And that's, that's, a, that's a lot different than it was a few years back. Yeager's been in just a tremendous impact on my life. Darn. Oh, yeah. He can tell when things are starting to get out of whack. He can tell before even I know that my heart rate is starting to increase, that I'm starting to sweat a little bit, that there's something not right that's uh, going on in my brain. And he can come and he'll nudge me. He does his job and he's very well trained. And that's, that's that makes the difference. Suicide is preventable, but you need to act. If a veteran you know seems to be struggling and says things like, I wish I could go to sleep and never wake up, or I feel like a burden to my friends and family, you need to ask the question, are you thinking about suicide? I know it's a tough question to ask, but you still need to ask it. You won't be putting any new ideas in their head, and you may just save their life. It saved mine. Suicide is preventable. Ask the question, Act to prevent suicide, make the connection.